Hello, hello everyone. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. I am so excited for this update because this is going to be an update for Project Level Up. I'm finally back to some sort of an eyeshadow project. I decided I would try Sophie Alexandra's project. Um, if you are unacquainted with me with this project, I'm gonna go ahead and link her channel down below. She does a lot of explaining about this project, but essentially I we work in levels. When you roll in a palette for level one, you're trying to use each shade one time and hit pan in one shade level two you use each shade twice and try to hit pan in two shades so on and so forth so this is only my second update and that which means I have finished level one now and I am ready to move on to level two so I'm gonna tell you about my level one palette how things went obviously it was a Pat McGrath palette which was so exciting for me this is the subliminal palette I'm gonna show you a little video of how it looked before I rolled it in this palette the packaging is really reflective it's hard to like get up close to see how these shades look so I'm gonna show you close-ups with the videos. This palette was new to my collection this year, so I had tested it, but I hadn't used it extensively since it was so new. And if any of you guys have used Pat McGrath before, you know that the shadows are massive and very pigmented and very difficult to hit pan on. So I knew that I didn't want to have this in for like a year while I tried to hit pan on a, sh on a shadow. So I decided for level one that I was gonna focus on one of the shades to use it 30 times. And I chose this taupe shade right here. And you can kind of see a little dip there. Again, I'm gonna insert a video of that shade so that you can see the dip going on in that shade. It's a very small little dip and that should show you that <laughs> these shadows to take a really, really long time to show progress in. I'm actually currently up to 29 uses on that shadow. I would have waited till tomorrow where I could have 30 uses on this shadow. It's just that I really need to film this today. I'm not gonna be able to film tomorrow. So. Don't worry, I will keep this palette in one more day in the project till I hit 30 uses on that shadow. But I didn't just focus on that shadow, I did use all the other shadows, so I'm gonna quick go through all the shades with you. I used this first shade 13 times. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a dip there. Shade number two I used twice. This one, of course, I'm up to 29 times. Shade four I used once. This glorious sparkle shade over here I used three times. This black I used once. This beautiful purple once, this brown once, this blue once, and this other very beautiful sparkly shade once. I have really enjoyed having this as a focus palette, but now that I've reached my goal on this palette, I'm ready to put it away and roll in something else. I'm very, very excited to see what's gonna be rolling, what's gonna be rolling in. I went through my whole collection. I picked out palettes that had two or more shades that I would be willing to work on and put them in a spreadsheet. So in this spreadsheet for level two, I have 43 palettes that could be rolled in and I'm gonna try not to be too picky. I admit I do have ones I'm hoping for. And if I roll in palettes that are, in my mind, very, very springy or summery, I'm just gonna re-roll again. This is the time of year when I'm actually willing to wear a bit more color and more rich tones. So I really kinda wanna take advantage of my wake up makeup wearing mood and use some palettes that I only reach for this time of year. So hopefully I'll roll in one of those. I'm just using random.org on my tablet. I have one through 43 in. Let's go ahead and generate a number. 12 shade. <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna go grab this palette. I'll be right back. I am so thrilled. This is one of the ones I wanted to work on. Palette number 12 in my spreadsheet. Yes, the Sultry palette. I was actually, I've been thinking about this palette for a couple of months now, how I need to spend some time on this and really get some shadows panned in here. And I just have not done so yet. Well, here we are. I am so thrilled. So this is how my palette looks right now. I do have one pan in the shade Pearl, but I have dips in a lot of the other shades. So it's going to be a lot of fun deciding which two shadows I would like to hit pan in. This is one of the palettes where I do actually want to hit pan. A lot of my other palettes like Sydney Grace and Pat McGrath, <laughs> I know it will be usage goals. This one, I want to hit pan in two more shades. So the point of this project is to use each shade at least twice, but I can tell you right now, you know, I'm gonna personalize this for me. This shade Bloom over here, I have tried to make work for myself many times and I cannot use that as an eyeshadow. It, it's that type of coral shade that makes me look really, really sick. And I've tried it in many different ways at different places on my eyelid or my crease and I just can't do it. So. 
I might try and use it as a blush. Maybe I can try that. Although that is a color that I'm not really reaching for as a blush this time of year. But that's pretty much the only way I would reach for that shade <laughs> this, at all. ABH recently came out with like a mini version of this, which I was instantly tempted by. But I'm like, no, my palette is still gorgeous and that little mini palette of course does not have all these shades so yeah i much prefer this one hmm, if i was gonna guess right now which two shades i would focus on probably cinder over here that is one of the shades i have the biggest dip in and maybe twig i really really like this shade it's actually very similar to the one i worked on from pat mcgrath but i have a decent little dip going in that one as well which i know can be difficult to see could not be more thrilled with this as my level two palette. I must say so far, the rolling in this project has been spot on <laughs> for me. I mean, I've only done it twice at this point, but so far I'm very happy with the palettes that have been rolled in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, you know what I just realized? I didn't do, I didn't do my tea of the day. If you made it to the end of the video, you get to your tea of the day. I'm trying a sample from this brand called Midwest Chai. This is their masala chai and it's a powder. So it's a type that you mix into warm milk and water to make make a creamy chai drink. You can get it at midwestchai.com. It is unsweetened, which I prefer. I'm trying not to have so much sugar in my life. So I'm drinking it completely unsweetened and I actually think it's quite delicious. I feel like it didn't dissolve as well as it could have. Maybe I just didn't mix it well enough. I don't know, but I really like chai, so I'm, I'm, I'm forgiving it. Anyway, that was the tea of the day. Thank you again so much for watching. If you're doing this project, let me know how you are doing down below. Which palette are you currently working on? And I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.